Hey, what's up, everybody? Cryptic here, back with another game development video. In this video, you guys will learn how to create a GUI in Godot. Okay, let's get started. First, let's we let's assume you have this scene. You have your world scene here. You want to create a GUI, so we're gonna create a new scene here. We'll be naming this. We'll be using a user interface, naming it GUI, and now. As you can see, we have the base. Oh my god. What the heck happened? I don't know. So, so sorry about that. So, we'll be adding a new uh, sprite. This will be our background. So, we'll just double click, rename this to background. After the background, what do I have to do? You just place in the background. So, you can download this, this GUI in the link in the description. I actually forgot what the heck is this. I mean, which icon is this? I must find it out. <laughs> so let's go to background. We just drag and drop it. So it's huge. It's huge right now. So what I want to do is just hold shift and just do, do like this. It's small and then like that. Okay. Make it as much as you can. Make, make it as much good as you can. So we have finally... You made what? Right. Okay. We have a background set up. Let's add a new uh, button. So now we have, as you can see, we have the icon here. I have also the icon. So let's go on buttons. Click. Done. We have, uh, we have the play button. Just try and drop it. Now there's a couple of problems, as you can see. First problem is it has a background. So click on the flat. As you can see, background got removed. Another thing, you cannot resize it. That's another problem. So click on expand icon. Now you can resize it. So while we are like going there, just hold shift. And as you can see, it will be making sure it, it scales nicely. I just forgot the name. <laughs> so let's go and then pop that thing right over here. All right. It looks nice, right? So we'll be adding functionalities functionalities yes functionality is later so let's add a title to the scene so what we're going to do is I have a flaming text you can go to flaming text.com then click on this click on this and then name your game for example any name so cool game name and there you go choose one you what do you like and I really like this one I really, really, really like this one. What we have to do is just click on this. Now we'll go to background, transparent, and we, what we have to do is this. Next, click on next. Remember that that's a free for personal and academic use. If you're, you're using for personal and academics, you can use this for free, but if you want to use commercially, you have to buy the logo. But we'll say download, because I'm not using for any academic or commercial stuff. So we, what we have to do is just, I'm going to just put that thing here, as I can say downloaded once, but it uh, didn't work, because I'm an idiot. So let's go here and then pop that thing down. As you can see, it looks very pretty nice. Next, so let's go add a new sprite to the scene. We have to make sure this will be the title of the scene. After that, we'll be pu putting that title image into here. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. Uh, I would say it's pretty nice. Okay, so this is our basic stuff done. The, the, the island game GUI has multiple different buttons, frames, headlines, uh, if you want. But for for me, it's fine. It's fine, fine for me. So, yeah, it's looking... Oh, my God. Nice. It's, it, it looks nice. Okay, now let's add the functionality. So we would be renaming this button called play and let's add a functionality to it. So let's go to the script panel, click on the script, click on the script thing, click on new script, we'll say play.create.scene and whatever the thing want. So now click on this, click on the node, we have the pressed, of course, but when we hit the, when we press, we need to connect the signal to itself. So what, what it's in there, it's so simple, get tree. Remember the name of your main scene, change scene, and we will say world.js. Oh my god. No. Okay, so. 
Okay, there you go. Hit tab and bam. You got yourself a goddamn note that works. Save the scene to GUI.TSCN. We'll save this. Actually, I created once, so we'll override this. We have successfully created the scene. Another thing you have to do is go to project, if I remember correctly, project, project settings, in the run. Yes, in the run, click on this and then click on the scene. The main scene should be your world scene, but change this to your GUI scene. Close and then run. You have your game, you click on this button and BAM! You got to the main scene. So thank you guys for watching. We'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.